Hi everybody, this is Greg Koopman, and this morning I'm going to show you um, how to use a merge join and then how to filter it after that. Uh, this came from a question from a friend of mine, and I needed in it. it uh, and when he asked me, it was seemed kind of complicated, but once I put it into the uh, into the SSIS, it was pretty pretty basic. Um, I generally let me first say that I generally don't do it this way. Um, I like to just go ahead and stage things into one data server and then from there those stage tables I will then um, manipulate those more in SQL server uh, I mean more in in the in many times SQL or in some sort of SQL statements uh, to push them around into other tables um, I find it much more performant that way but that's not the way he needed to do it so um, I, I went ahead and used the SSIS components of the data flow and because uh, that's what they needed to do it. They couldn't go ahead and stage any tables. So let me show you how this works and um, it's a pretty basic example. So first of all, let's go ahead over to my um, data grip and I'm going to show you two tables. Basically we're going to take two tables from different uh, data sources. Uh, so one is a going to be from SQL Server. Okay, I'm in Data Grip, and this is the table I'm going to use called SQL Serve Table. Okay, so when you look at this, when we run this, you'll see that it's going to bring in five um, five rows, uh, a customer which is a customer key, and then a max order date key. So just envision that this customer buys, you know, maybe several products over a couple of years. And um, you want to know when the last time they bought, the very last time they bought a product, or ordered a product in this case. Uh, and then we're going to see how, how many orders they purchased um, within six months prior to that max date. Okay, so it's not six months back from today's date. It's six months back from their specific um, uh, max order date. Okay, so that so we take this. Well, it's a very simple example, contrived of course. And here's my customer key, and here's each of those max date keys. Okay, so 101, uh, 11001 has a 2008 was the last time they purchased something. Uh, 11004, the last time they purchased something was 2007 1102. Okay, so that does it for that that table, and that's over in SQL Server. Now what we have to do is join that over to a text file, okay? So the text file is, if we look at my flat data source, okay, and I preview it, here's my text file, okay? I'm not going to go, go over to DOS and show it to you or Windows, but basically the text file incorporates uh, let's see. I don't know whether this, how many rows this is, but anyways, it's one. Okay, so we have three for this this particular key, and all these keys are going to match to the other rows that I showed you just previously in SQL Server. Okay, but instead here, this is uh, summary by day. So for these these guys here, for this particular customer, they purchased in history. Um, they purchased on 2005, 07, 22, 2007, 07, 22, and 2007-11-04, um, 11-04, okay, and this is the amount they purchased, okay, and then it goes on. So this is really like a detail table, we call it summary because it's summarized by day, um, and then we have the dates, right? So what we want to do is find out in this whole list, okay, this imagine this could be millions of rows or whatever. But in this whole, in this particular small list of history for these, for those corresponding customers, we um, want to find out which one of these were per were order dates are within the last six months of that max date we saw previously. Okay, so that's not going to be all of them. Okay, that's going to be um, a certain amount. Okay, so let's see what happens here when we run this. So. When we first spoke about it, uh, the problem was was oh well, is it going to be um, we need to you know probably put you know combine the merge on the key and then in the in the merge we, we need to uh, qualify it with a uh, or filter it with a um, you know where it only where the 
order date of the sort of this table the order date it can only go six months back okay so did a little bit of little jury rigging on this so it's not really very elegant and it's probably wouldn't work in many cases so but for this particular contrived example it will work so again we look at these rows and that's what we, we're starting with so we got a, so this is our text file that came in and then this over here is my sql server file uh, table rather that i just showed you okay and it's already ordered by customer key okay now as some of you know that when you do a merge join you have to have both sides sorted okay since this is ola db source i can do the order by here i don't have to bring in a separate component to do the sort but you also have to come in here and do it uh go into your advanced editor and go into your output pr properties and you have to go to your output uh here right and here you have to set your sort key position to one all right and there is also an is is sorted uh, property you have to set also and that's a little hard to find sometimes so let's just look around here for it um, I didn't find it so easily is sorted that guy go here it is so you have to set this guy is sorted to true okay and by default it's false so if that's not set it to true and then the in the and then the column you're you're um, sorting by has to be sorted by one or if you have multiple columns you're sorting by let's say we sorted by customer key and max order date key that would be that would be set to one and then it would, this would be set to two but since i'm not using that i'm just leaving it at the default position of zero but again you have to set those two properties uh at, at a minimum so uh if you have more obviously if you have more sort you can do more but um but you have to have that is and this is where you find it right here is sorted true okay so you need those two if you're going to not use a sort component here also both of these sorts the column you're going to sort uh rather the column you're going to join to down in the merge join has got to be the same data type okay if you don't do that you're going to get errors and this might say something about something's wrong with your sort but it's really not your sort particularly it's your data type because it's trying to sort uh by this one maybe by string and this one by int and that'll cause a problem so you have to make sure and you when you define your like when you're bringing in a text file that if this is an int which it is this customer key and what joins into this customer key the same uh, and that's the only way you're going to be able to do a merge join on the same sort column okay so we got that through so here's my sort really very simple this i'm sorting it by customer key when it comes in this one's already sorted we know that i put a little a couple data viewers in so we could see the data coming through and then it ends up in this merge join which basically is this i'm just doing an inner join here and i'm doing a customer which you can see the join key here and the join key here uh, i'm joined by customer key only one column but i'm also on these on these columns that are checked these are what will come down in my output the, these will come out of that merge join so here they all are so we're just doing a regular inner join okay so and what you'll see is that we're going to join out because here in the merge join what me and me and this fellow was we're looking for was a, a filtering a where clause right so um there was no where clause okay so and you, and you really only have these joints so what you have to do is do the inner join we're going to do the filter in this conditional split here so basically the, both these will come in right they were they join here on that customer key it's going to output the rows that are intersect okay including all the history that we're not even looking for right uh, then here in the conditional split we open that up and in here i only have one i'm basically using this like a where clause and again i said it as a contrived example so this doesn't work in many cases but for this particular case it will work so what i do here is i just say okay give me the max order date key which is coming from the left side of this this uh solution 
and then the order date key is coming from the right side okay ending up in this this merge table and what will happen then is that if, if it's less than I just go back 600 which is um, six months in this case as long as your months are kind of high um, and so that it will give me a it will emulate a six month back routine so if my number is uh, 2015 12 01 I go back six that's gonna bring me back to 2000 it's gonna bring me back to 06 um, 01 okay so that's exactly where I want to be so I just want all the order dates that are above six months to go okay based on the uh, date of that row of, of the max order date of that row okay and that's what we're doing here so that's gonna filter it and that's where the filter comes in so you have to do that conditional split uh, if you have other ways of doing this that are more elegant, please uh, leave them in the comments. Um, okay, so then I just go ahead and race it out to a data read, uh, reader destination just because I'm doing this example and I'm not trying to persist this data. Uh, but I just want to see how to do I also would enable a data reader here, a data reader here, so we can kind of see the data as it flows through. Okay, so let's run this, this bad boy and continue. So, first of all, the, the data reader comes in for this guy, right? There's my five rows. So here's my five rows. We saw that was the, the rows from SQL Server that we we're bringing in, and we're going to match. So we're going to match those customer keys to these in this site. So as soon as I get rid of this data reader, this one will pop, okay? So click there, come back. And now we got our other, the one from our text file, which is a more detail, and that's by day, right? So here we get 15 rows, okay? See rows displayed, and there they all are. So that's coming that from that data reader. So they're sorted, just like it's supposed to be, sort by customer key. And again, this data viewer is pushing, showing that. All right, so we're joining those two. Again, they got a customer key, and so those five join to these five, should be 15 coming out of that merge joint. So let's click again. We go back. My, my output shows up on my other screen. So sorry about that. So uh, um, now, so this is the output. And again, this is coming from this data view, this this data reader. So as you see, there's 15 rows, and we have you know our max order date coming from this side. We have the rest of our data and, and customer coming from and everything else coming from this the detail side. So here's my order date. I put this date here in just so we can compare them. So you see 2007, 2005. Well, that's way over six months before, right? And here's one. Okay, these two are within six months, I think. Um, again, here's another one way before. So these guys we don't want to see, right? The, these particular ones, I accidentally sorted by the wrong guy. So these guys, these 2005s, they're too far back compared to their max order date. So we shouldn't be seeing those in our final result because we want to filter those out. So now we're going to get rid of this. This There's 15 rows here. Now notice that when I get rid of that and we couldn't throw our split, which is like our wear condition, okay, we get our final result, which is nine. Nine rows. Let's take a look at that and just do a little comparison. So for uh, this customer key, <coughs> we get two. So we have our max, we know our max order date key was uh, 1104, 2007. And there's, there's within six months is the July, okay, November, July back. And here we have the same date, which is within, is the same, right? It's, it's within six months because it's the same, of course. And all these have that. So here's 1101. That one only had one, which is itself. And then we had um, this one, 1102, that has two. So here's a, it was in August 27. It went back to August 27 and August 27. And then it goes back to July 4th. Okay, for those, for two of his. So like I say, it's a very small example, but I hope it, it meets your, you understand what, what I'm doing here so that you can apply it to bigger data. Again, this is you know not going to be very performant maybe when you get big data, but if this is the only way you can do it and you can't stage it, 
then uh, go ahead, go for it, and uh, at least you're going to get the right results back. Okay, uh, let me close this up, and I think that's going to conclude my lesson for today. Thanks a lot.